In the shadows of the Tigris and Euphrates, where the clay tablets of Mesopotamia bore witness to the rise and fall of empires, a king ascended to the Babylonian throne, destined to etch his name into the annals of history. Adad Apla Idina, known to some as Iak Suhadu, emerged as a pivotal figure during the tumultuous Middle Assyrian period, steering the fate of Babylon amid the swirling currents of politics, architecture, and cultural exchange. Before we continue, make sure to like and subscribe to Empires and Emperors. And also you can check the video, Babylonian Empire in a Nutshell, Early Life and Ascension to the Throne. In the dusky corridors of Babylon, circa 1090 BCE, a child was born into the heart of a tumultuous era. Adad Apla Idina, destined for royalty, drew his first breath within the opulent walls of the Babylonian palace. Little is documented about his early years, yet the turbulent political climate surrounding his birth likely cast its shadow over his formative experiences. As the scion of a royal lineage, Adad Apla Idina's childhood unfolded amidst the intrigues of court life and the echoes of regional conflicts. The shifting alliances and power struggles within Mesopotamia left an indelible mark on the young prince, shaping his perception of authority, diplomacy, and the delicate dance of political survival. Around 1067 BCE, the tapestry of Adad Apla Idina's life took a pivotal turn. With the passing of his predecessor, he ascended to the Babylonian throne, marking the commencement of a reign that would leave an enduring imprint on the history of Mesopotamia. At the age of approximately 23, he assumed the mantle of leadership at a critical juncture when the formidable Assyrian Empire exerted its dominance over the region. The ascension presented Adad Apla Idina with a formidable challenge to navigate the delicate balance between asserting Babylonian autonomy and managing relations with the Assyrians. The young king, thrust into the complex arena of geopolitics, embarked on a journey that would define not only his reign, but also the destiny of Babylon during the Middle Assyrian period. His early years on the throne were characterized by a keen awareness of the regional dynamics as the shifting sands of power dictated the contours of diplomacy and the pursuit of strategic alliances. Adad Apla Idina, a ruler in the bloom of youth, faced the daunting task of steering Babylon through the turbulent waters of the time, where every decision carried weighty consequences for the fate of his kingdom. The early chapters of Adad Apla Idina's life and reign through set the stage for a narrative woven with political intricacies, diplomatic maneuvering, and the ambitious vision of a young king poised at the epicenter of a rapidly evolving Mesopotamian landscape. Chapter 1. Relations with Assyria Adad Apla Idina's reign unfolded against the backdrop of the formidable Assyrian Empire, where rulers like Ashur Belkela and Shalmaneser IV wielded imperial might. In 1055 BCE, the ascension of Tiglath-Pileser I marked a critical juncture. The Babylonian king, aware of the delicate dance required in dealing with the Assyrians, engaged in diplomatic intricacies. Through a series of treaties and negotiations, Adad Aplaidina sought to balance Babylon's autonomy with appeasing Assyrian dominance. His diplomatic efforts reached a zenith in 1052 BCE when he brokered a crucial alliance with Elam, a strategic move to bolster Babylon's defenses against potential external threats. The Assyrian specter persisted, however, casting a perpetual challenge on the Babylonian king's quest for regional equilibrium. Chapter 2. Architectural Endeavors Adad Aplaidina's vision transcended the realm of politics, manifesting in grand architectural endeavors that reshaped the skyline of Babylon. In 1060 BCE, the Grand Ziggurat, a colossal structure dedicated to Marduk, soared to majestic heights. Its terraced layers, a testament to both the king's piety and Babylon's prominence, stood as a symbol of divine favor. The Hanging Gardens, an opulent testament to Adad Apla Idina's architectural prowess, graced Babylon in 1058 BCE. While debates persist regarding their historical existence, the concept of an elevated, lush garden designed to appease a queen's desire for greenery reflects the king's ambition to blend opulence with the natural world. These monumental projects transformed Babylon into an urban marvel, a testament to the king's commitment to both the divine and the earthly. Chapter Thrice Political Landscape Within the intricate tapestry of Mesopotamian politics, 
Adad Apla Idina faced challenges not only from the Assyrians, but also from neighboring city-states vying for supremacy. Isin, under the leadership of Marduk Kabit Aheshu, posed a constant threat, leading to intermittent clashes that tested Babylon's resilience. The year 1052 BCE witnessed a diplomatic triumph as Adad Apla Idina secured a treaty with Elam, strategically positioning Babylon against potential external aggressors. The geopolitical chessboard of the time was marked by a delicate dance of alliances and rivalries, with Babylon strategically positioned at the crossroads of regional power dynamics. Chapter 4 Cultural Exchanges Adad Apla Idina's reign was not confined to the realm of politics and construction. It witnessed a vibrant exchange of culture and ideas. Babylon, a cultural nexus, became a magnet for scholars, artisans, and thinkers from diverse corners of the known world. The year 1056 BCE saw the arrival of Belnad in Shumi, a mathematician whose groundbreaking work on advanced geometric principles left an indelible mark on Babylonian academia. The city's libraries, notably the Itamananki Library, flourished during this era, housing a diverse collection of cuneiform tablets spanning literature, astronomy, and legal codes. Adad Apla Idina's patronage of the arts and sciences left an enduring legacy, fostering an environment where intellectual pursuits thrived, laying the groundwork for Babylon's cultural ascendancy. Conclusion As the sands of time settled over Mesopotamia, Adad Apla Idina's reign drew to a close around 1046 BCE. The legacy he left was a complex tapestry, woven with threads of diplomacy, monumental architecture, political maneuvering, and intellectual flourishing. Though obscured by millennia, the echoes of his reign resonate through the corridors of ancient history, where the ambitions of a Babylonian king shaped the destiny of a city and left an indelible imprint on the tapestry of civilizations. The clay tablets, silent witnesses to a bygone era, tell of a ruler whose ambitions soared as high as the ziggurats he built and whose influence stretched beyond the Tigris and Euphrates, imprinting his name into the collective memory of humanity. Thanks for watching History Enthusiasts.